Hi everyone, I am here with a review of Violin Lesson 6, and this week we learned how to play the Peru Blue Boogie. So before we look at the music that's on the screen, let's just take a minute to review the notes that we're going to need to know for this tune. So um, everyone put your instruments up. Remember, they should be parallel to the floor when you're holding them. Your left thumb should be over here nice and relaxed, ready for your fingers to make notes on the, on the strings, okay? Hey, you should have a beautiful bow hold. If you need to pause the video to set your beautiful bow hold, you can do that right now. We're going to place our bow in the sweet spot, okay? Let's play five of each of the notes that we need to know. So the first note is open D, so make sure your bow is on the open D string, and let's play five of those together. Good. The next note is E. That is one finger on the D string. Remember, nice rounded um, fingers, and we're using our fingertips. Here's five E's. Next, we're going to play five F sharps, which is two fingers on the D string. Add a third finger. That's the note G. And if you tilt your bow over to the A string, okay, this is the last note. It's just the note A, no fingers. So those are the five notes that we'll need to know to play the Peru Blue Boogie. Now, taking a look at our music, there are some things that we need to, to know, some symbols we need to be able to recognize. The first thing is this right here, which I'm circling with my mouse. This is called a whole rest. It's called a whole rest because it is re it's below the lines. When it's hanging below the line, that means it's called a whole rest. Um, and this means that you have an entire measure of rest, all four beats. So you can see we have two of those, so a total of eight beats. The reason we rest at the beginning is that there is a track, a play along track that goes along with this, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but there's an introduction, so we don't play during the introduction. Okay, let's take a look um, just at this first line. This is how we broke it up in our lesson this week. Let's go through and read the note names. So we have D, 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 D. This is one beat of rest, and this one that's on the Resting on top of the line there, that's called a half rest. That's a two beat rest. So we're actually going to have three beats of rest. So rest, 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 D, 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 rest, rest, rest. This is the note G, three fingers, G, 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 rest, rest, rest. And in this space here is the note F sharp, which we'll just call F for right now, F, F. F, 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 rest, rest, rest. Okay, so on this top line, there's three different notes that we need to play. We have these three beats of rest in between each group. That's when you're going to put those fingers down. So as I'm playing, it should sound something like this. Just watch and listen to how I'm setting my fingers up. So I'm going to play three beats of rest. And put three fingers down and take one finger off. Okay, that's how this, this first line should sound. Now, you might have noticed some other symbols here. We did not get a chance to go over these in the lesson this week. We're going to talk about them next week. But anytime you see a note with this symbol right here over, that's the symbol for a down bow. And a down bow means that you're going from the frog towards the tip. So you're moving your bow in this direction, okay? If you move your bow in the other direction from the tip towards the frog, that's called an up bow. The symbol for that is it's a V, and we'll we'll get to that um, later. But for right now, anytime you see that symbol, you're going to move your bow um, in the down bow direction. Now, sometimes, um, for example, if you kind of follow, this D will be a down. That will make this up. This will be down, up, and then this note is down. And you'll see the next note you want to play is also a down bow. So there's this other symbol right here. It's an apostrophe. That's what you would call it in English class when you're talking about making contractions. Um, but in music, that's something called a retake. So watch as I play this first, this first little bit. D. 
Now my next note needs to be a down bow, so I'm going to do a retake, which means pick it up and put it right back down at the frog to do my next down bow. Okay, so you're going to see that all over this music. If you feel really comfortable with the notes, your next step is to add in this bowing. That's a really important part of playing violin is the bow direction. But um, we're going to spend a lot more time on that next week. I just wanted you to be aware of what that means. So let's play this top line together. Okay, setting that bow on the string, we're going to ignore those first two measures of rest for the moment. Okay, setting the bow on the D string. Ready, here we go, and. Three beats of rest. And put three fingers down. And take one finger off. Good, excellent. So we're moving on to this second line here. Okay, a new note we have not read yet today. This is the note E, one finger. And you see we're breaking the, fi the five note pattern that we've been doing so far. There's only three E's here. So it's E, 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 rest. D, 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 rest. D, 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 D. Okay, let's play from, uh, from the beginning here. This is measure 11 with this E. Okay, get your E set, one finger. Ready, here we go. E, 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 and D, e, and D. E. Good. We discovered uh, in class this week that all the way up till this point where I just ended, that's kind of like the first section. It all connects together. It's all one, one idea, one phrase. Um, so let's play from the beginning where we start right here all the way to where we just ended. See if we can get all those notes in, okay? Use those rests wisely to put your fingers down. Okay, they're there for a reason to help you out. Um, this is we're learning how to place our fingers and how to take them off, okay? So here we go, from the top. Rest, rest, rest. And put three fingers down. And take one finger off, down to just one finger, great. So if you got that, I'm going to move on to the second half. If not, it's okay to pause the video and try that again. Remember, we're trying to only be hitting one string with our bow. If you're hearing extra strings while you're playing, that means your bow is is kind of not in the correct position. So always looking down at that bow, making sure it's hitting just one string at a time. Okay. Now, um, as we look at the second section, you're going to notice this looks very similar to what we just played. And in fact, it's an exact repeat until we get to here where my mouse is this D. So let's practice the ending and then I will play the entire boogie for you. Okay. So um, at the ending, we have D, rest, 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 and then we need to pop over to the A string. So this is, remember in uh, one of our tunes last week, we had a sneaky A. There's a couple of sneaky A's in this too. So it'll be D, rest, 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 A, A, D. It'll sound like this. Rest, rest, rest. And making sure that you're changing the angle of your bow and hitting the correct string when you need to. Okay. Now, before I play you the whole boogie, I want to show you how to find the play along track. Okay. So if you go up, um, I actually will put a link in the description of this video. But if you go to my YouTube channel, the Peru Orchestra channel, you'll see right here there's the video Peru Blue Boogie. And I believe actually if you just search that in the search bar, it's the first one that comes up. Now, I'm not going to play it for you because the sound does not transfer over very well um, when I play it from my computer. But um, I do want to show you, as you're playing this, it's a little bit faster than we've been practicing it. So if it is too fast for you, you can go into settings, you can go into speed, and you can actually change the speed that you are going to play it at. Now, um, we discovered in our lesson 0.5 is way too slow. It's kind of like slow motion, but 0.75 
actually is a pretty good speed if you're just starting out with this, okay? We also discovered that if you can play it at full speed perfectly, um, you can bump it up to 1.25 and it makes it a little bit more upbeat. Um, and it's kind of a challenge to play it at that speed. So experiment as you are playing this week with the speed um, and see what kind of, uh, see how fast you can get it, okay? Going back to the boogie here, all right? I'm going to play the whole thing for you. Play along with me if you'd like, and then I'm gonna, going to leave you to um, to practice this with the play along track for this week. So here we go. I'm going to start right here. Where my mouse is on this D. We don't have an introduction because I'm not playing with the track. So here we go. Rest, rest, rest. And put three fingers down. Take one finger off. Now three E's and D's. Okay, then there's a little bit of an interlude here. And we're going to start again. Here we go. Four D's. Finger off. Now three E's. Over to the A string. All right, so if you feel really comfortable with that, you can go try it with the recording. Keep working on getting a really good tone with your instrument only hitting one string with your bow, having a beautiful bow hold, and making sure that those fingers are on the um, on the sticker so that they're in the correct spot and perfectly in tune. Um, so I will see you next week where we'll keep working on this boogie and learn a few other things. Happy practicing, and I'll see you at your next lesson.